April is the month of military children. We spend this month appreciating military kids and the role they play and how their lives are different from non-military kids. Let's learn more. Prom will be held outdoors at the LE campus on Friday, May 21st from 8 to 11 p.m. Tickets will be on sale April 12th through May 7th. Tickets purchased April 12th through April 23rd will be $25 per person, and tickets purchased April 26th through May 7th will be $35 per person. Tomorrow is an e-learning day. Make sure to turn in your assignments. Next week is spring break from April 5th to April 9th. There will be a volleyball interest meeting in the cafeteria on April 13th from 3.30 to 4 p.m. Imagine one day out of the blue, your parents tell you you will be moving across the country or across the world to a completely new foreign place, a new school, a new neighborhood, maybe even a new language and a new culture. Your life completely starts over. For military families, this is a normal occurrence. Military families move every two to three years, 10 times more often than the average family. I've moved about five different times since I was born and honestly every time I was just kind of excited to go to different places like I was worried but I was more like looking at the positive side oh I can meet new people and go to new places. So I've moved about five times and honestly it was a little bit difficult because most of my moving was when I was in elementary school so it's hard making friends but thankfully we settled down here so I've been able to have friends for a good few years. Some military members may be deployed where they are stationed outside the United States. This can be hard on their children. You know like it's hard because it's like my parents going away for nine months and I'm, uh, I'm actively developing like every day you know so not having my dad's kind of a bummer for like my nine months at a time. But you know, like, at least he's out there doing something good. My dad has been deployed multiple times. Most of the time he went to the Middle East, but the last deployment he went up to Greenland. Greenland was better because he, we were able to visit him for like five days and we were up, able to go up to Greenland to see like where he worked and experience some of their cultural stuff. Most deployment can last 6 to 12 months. This can cause military members to miss out on holidays, birthdays, and other important events. They missed a few Christmases, from what I recall, but we would Skype during those Christmases. Uh, I know the last one, we did it in Afghanistan, he, we, we did Skype for Christmas. He has missed birthdays and holidays and stuff, and we're really, we're sad about those, but we know that it's his job. So we understand where he's coming from. Like we know that he he provides for us and he helps us. So we don't like we just think of it. Oh, he'll be there next year. Many military kids cope by spending time with their non-military family members. DeploymentSite.com says children need consistency and routine as well as individual attention from non-deployed parents. Like it kind of falls on the parents to help cope with that. Like if your parents are there doing things with you when your family member has deployed, it's a lot easier to take your mind off of it. Our family copes by spending more time with each other in general because we're already a really close family. So just spending time with each other and just hanging out really helps us feel less lonely. That's it for this week, Demons. Let's spend this month appreciating our military members and all that they do for us. We'll see you after spring break. This is Camille Bauer signing off for LETV.